This light bulb is rated at 60 watts, but what does that mean? Let's take a look at the electric power formula to see what 60 watts actually represents. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. Electric power is the rate at which electrical energy is transferred by an electric circuit. The formula for electric power is it equals volts times current and can be written as P equals V times I. V is for voltage and I is for current. It uses I by the way because it's current intensity. Voltage is what pushes the free electrons around a circuit. The greater the voltage, the greater the current. And as voltage decreases, the current will also decrease. It is a measure of potential work. In other words, voltage is a measure of how much work can potentially be done by the electric power. Voltage is measured in volts. Now, what is a volt? A volt is the work required in joules to move one coulomb of charge from A to B. It's expressed as one joule over coulomb. In simple terms, voltage is a measure of potential energy. Okay, but what about this coulomb? Coulomb is a measure of charge. It is equal to 1 over 1 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 elementary charges which is the charge of a single proton or the negative charge of a single electron. Another way you can think of a coulomb is that it's just a bag of electrons and each electron has a charge. It takes 6.2415 times 10 to the 18 electrons to make one coulomb. That's a lot of electrons. Again, a coulomb is a measure of charge. Current is all about movement. It is measured in amperes and it's a measure of one coulomb of charge passing a point in a circuit every second. It is written as coulomb per second. In other words, an amp is 6.24 times 10 to the 18 electrons flowing past a point each second. A joule of energy is defined as the energy expended by one ampere at one volt moving in one second. So let's go back to the P equals V times I. Remember, volt is potential work and current is movement. P equals joules over coulomb, which is V, and coulomb per second, which is I. The coulombs cancel, and you are left with one joule per second, which is a watt. So a watt is a measure of how much work measured in joules is done per second. So let's go back to the 60-watt bulb. A 60-watt bulb uses 60 joules of energy each second that it's on. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.